Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today I will be answering a question from one of you asking me how do I use a reference photo and how do I simplify a reference photo. So I will be painting a landscape, seascape actually, using a reference photo and in the meanwhile I will be talking about how do I use it, how I simplify and put on my painting what I think it's necessary and just don't go overboard with the details on my reference photo. The one I'm using today is from Unsplash from Xavier Huifik. I'm hopefully I'm saying that right and I will link it in the description box. First, I do want to say that it's quite hard to paint without a reference photo, especially if you are a beginner, because sometimes it just get lost in the details, in uh, colors, and also in a perspective. That's definitely something that is possible and usually does happen. I know because I had struggles with that also. So I do love to use reference photos and usually I do use a reference photo, especially when painting a landscape or a seascape because it just helps me put down the colors to choose a focal point, to place a focal point, to place every detail in my painting. And I do advise you, if you are a beginner, to use reference photos and just practice with them until you feel comfortable painting without the reference photo. Also, it is important to know where to find the reference photos. Not all reference photos are accessible for use, free to use. So websites that I do love to use are Unsplash, Pixabay, Pixels. I will link them all in the description box so you can check them out and see what sort of photos are there and maybe find a reference for yourself. And well, I guess when you do choose a reference photo, when you find a photo, first thing you have to do is, of course, find the one that is appealing to you, that you like, that there is something about that photo that speaks to you. Then find something that is appealing on that photo. What is appealing on that photo? What exactly? What detail? What thing? Are those the colors? Or is that something that is on the photo? Is it well, I guess a sunset, is it uh, some object on a photo? Just find that what speaks to you and place that as a focal point. Choose that as a focal point and build the entire painting, the entire idea around that focal point. After you have chosen that, one thing that you want to make stand out on your painting, well, I guess choose elements that you want to build around that focal point because not everything that is on a reference photo should end up on your painting, especially if you're trying to simplify it. If you see waves, as I do see in this reference photo, I will just put a few of them on my painting. I will just put the notion of the waves and I will use quite simple strokes. I'm not going to go overboard with my strokes. This is, remember, a practice painting. So when you are practicing learning to use your reference photo, don't try to paint every single detail. Don't try to make it a perfect, just make it a learning process, make it a practice process. So choose, as I said, those few elements I did. I do want to make this sunset. I do want to make palm trees and I do want to make waves and a small little boat that I will be adding later on. And all of that, I do want to build around my focal point, the sunset that it's going to be in the center, that's going to be the brightest, that's going to shine. And everything else is going to be in the service of that focal point. When you do choose those elements, try to simplify your brush strokes. And also when you are painting looser, when you want to paint looser, you will be able to paint looser if you're using a little bit larger brushes. If you're using quite small detailed brushes, of course your strokes are going to be detailed and you won't be able to be loose with your brush. You won't be able to just hold it a little bit away from the from your bristles and just make it simpler and make it easier, make it lighter for you to paint, to have those lighter strokes, to have those more lucid strokes. So just use a little bit larger brushes. For small brushes, of course, you can use them if you are going to add a couple of smaller details. But if you 
want to paint a looser, I guess I do advise you to use a little bit bigger brushes. One more thing that can help you simplify your art is to do a sketch. When you find the reference photo, just sketch on a regular printing paper, any paper you have. Those elements that you want to place on your painting, the focal point and everything around it, just place them, sketch them very, very roughly and do not fuss with the details. And that's how you will get the idea how your finished piece is going to look and what are you going to put on your painting. And of course, it is important to choose your colors. And what I do love to do when I when I make a practice, when I do a practice and want to simplify my painting is choose just three colors and build around them. Mix those three colors to add a little bit more of the variety. Here I have chosen blue, I have chosen yellow and as a third color I have chosen red and also I have chosen black or brown. Those are not really nothing more than neutral colors which you can use with any color palette you're creating. On top of them I have mixed a little bit of the yellow and red to create a um, orangey color and also I have used a little bit of the lighter brown to create the beach. So just choose three colors that you're going to place on your painting and that's definitely going to simplify your painting and definitely going to simplify your reference because if you're using color palette from around five to ten colors or even more it's not going to be simple you're not going to be able to simplify it because you're going to fuss with a lot of details with all of those colors just try to use less colors and you will see that less colors is actually more and it does help you simplify don't fuss about the colors don't focus on the colors just focus on a couple of details but mostly focus on what you want to put on your painting and you will see how that with practice you will be able to notice on your reference photo what is important what do you want to bring from that reference onto your work so i hope this was helpful and just with those few tips you will be able to use that reference a little bit more easier and not be overwhelmed with it and if you do find it helpful if you do find you like this video please hit the like button share it and comment if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would be awesome and mean a lot to me there were i don't know 400 tutorials there right now and again thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time bye